Um, so, week two, Wellbeing Wednesdays, 12 Week Survival Guide. We've got the beautiful, gorgeous Sophie Austin with us. Thanks, so. Hello. So, Sophie, Hello, nice to meet you. You too. Clara Robin of the Female Fitness Academy. Again, Robin's here this week. Yay. Sorry, and uh, everyone's looking far more glamorous than me. <laughs> Don't know how you've all managed <laughs> I've got my pajamas trousers on. <laughs> Good I girl. I've got the same I did this half. half. I didn't do the bottom half. <laughs> That's the good thing about these Zoom calls and FaceTime calls and stuff, isn't it? You can kind of like just do yourself from here upwards and then have your pajamas and slippers on bottom half. It's great. Oh, <laughs> um, so we're all mums. We're all mums. Sophie has got little Willow. How old is Willow now, Soph? She is three going on 13. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have terrible twos, but I certainly have terrible threes. She's yeah. making up for it now. Yeah. I think three is worse than two. Yeah, I do. 100%. Yeah, I think it's a, it's that language barrier, isn't it? It's that, um, I, and I, I think also because she just started sort of preschool, um, it was quite emotional letting her go because obviously she's with me the whole time when I'm working or anything. And then it was suddenly like, since it's all stopped, I realised how precious those three hours in the morning are to me, just to be able to like, just do anything. And it's not even like to read a book. It's even like to just sort of go to the toilet on your own. Yes. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Things. I know. So. Well, yeah. that's what we were talking about this week is how, how we're all finding it being at home with kids and, and that isolation with them. So Claire and Robin have both got kids as well. You've got two each, haven't you? Yeah. yeah all yeah, all how girls. old are they? Ten and seven. Mine are ten and seven as well. God, you don't look old enough to have a ten and a seven-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they sort of entertain I each other. Do you what? They do. My two will get on the majority of the time, but we're on the fourth week now of being, because they're two weeks isolation and then two okay. weeks of lockdown. And so um, I think this morning I um, went food shopping and when I came back, Matt and husband had separated them because one had picked up a chair and said she was going to smash it over the other one's head. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> it's just moments like that. The best friends, but they, they, they are getting, like, grating on each other at points in the day. And so it's trying to find things to, that they can do together, but then also things they can do on their own just to have that time. Yeah. Off. Is that, that's what I'm finding... Sorry, Sophie, go on. No, sorry, Sarah, you go. I was just going to say, that's what I'm finding the hardest about this time and being with Stanley constantly. So Stanley's three, like Willow, is, is finding things to entertain them constantly. Because, Sophie, are you finding that Willow is... Like, Stanley, for me, is going, Mummy, play with me, Mummy, play with me, Mummy. Because John's still working, he's working from home. And Stanley knows yeah. that I not to work because he knows when I go to work, he goes to nursery yeah. and he goes somewhere in the car. So I'm finding the hardest thing about it all is that constant pressure to, well, I'm feeling pressure anyway, to do something with him and find something to keep him entertained and to, to educate him somehow. And yeah, I think, that, I think that was so much, I think the problem was it was so much pressure on um, this homeschooling and, I mean, Willow's a lot younger, she just started preschool. And I know that she had learned so much since going there, but I think that it was like, it was almost like everyone had to like, have all these routines and this and, and actually I, I think the, the biggest thing was the fact that everyone was trying to figure it out weren't they so it was just all just a bit crazy willow's quite good she does she does entertain herself quite well um but the thing is it's just like because obviously shane's always in here and he's doing things online and he's been recording things and doing this cameo thing so he's away a lot and uh, it is just the fact that yeah it is the fact that you just feel that guilty the whole time if you sort of sort of leaving them and they're playing on their own and stuff and you think oh god I need to play with you and then it's like I can't you can't you can't do anything and yeah. I think it's just the, it's a guilt and then it's this whole homeschooling thing I mean I know she's a lot younger and I've got friends with older children you know like you guys and there's just so much and then it's like you know the first week I was like do your numbers and my mum's like she, she's three and I was like she's not getting to 10 she keeps thinking five a and I don't know what I'm gonna do and mum was like <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, what are you doing and then it was like I got this line thing and I was like draw draw the kitten to the cat <laughs> she was like and I was like yeah. oh my 
God, I went and it. And it was just like, you know, like, chill out. So, like, you're not a teacher and she's too young. And, and you know, all, all, the thing is that all kids are the same, aren't they? They're all in the same boat in this. It's not like they're away from school because of some situation with them. So, yeah, I mean, it's just... I think it's just mum guilt. You guilt yeah. you're at work and you guilt you're at home and you just can't win. Can you? I love to have that feeling like, like, see you later. But you just can't do it because you just no. you can't. Well, there's no um, escape, is there? I think that's it. And I think I, because I'm not working technically, I'm doing the, the odd little bit and, uh, here and there for the Hollyoaks. But I think it's, it's that kind of guilt of not working so therefore feeling you've got to do something with them all the time and so when I do say no Stanley I feel guilty then like you say if he is playing on his own I feel like oh this is precious time and I should be making the most of that but then I feel like I shouldn't feel guilty for wanting time to myself at the same time it, it's yeah. um, it's like finding a balance isn't it it's crazy how are you girls getting on Robin and Claire with, with the homeschooling that like Sophie was saying I'm not getting on very well at all <laughs> um I've my, my youngest is who is seven she's okay she's not they've not given absolutely tons and tons of work so i'm getting on okay with that my eldest she has um additional needs so she obviously she has a one-to-one -one with her all the time and like i just i just don't know how to get her to do it really so i've just done totally my own things i've spoke to the teachers and they um they've rang me because they said she could still go in because she's classed uh, as an EHCP, but obviously I wasn't going to send her in. So I just said, I'm just doing my own thing. Is that okay? And they were they were really nice about it, actually. And they were just like, just that there's no pressure. Just do what you can. And as long as you're doing stuff with her and keeping her like happy, that's the main thing, really. As long as she's, yeah, her mental health is more important than anything else, really. Yeah, yeah 100%. And what about yeah. yours, Claire? The, um, one of the when the teacher the teacher's been ringing me every week and that's what she's always said it is mental health and happiness has got to become before any of this work so if any of it's stressing them out scrap it and do what you want so mine tend to be quite switched on in the morning when they've got up because i make them exercise <laughs> like every morning like you get up early and then you work you do some exercise and then they'll do but i let them choose as what's on the google classroom what they want to do do I don't follow the timetable they pick bits of work and you should find lunchtime they've had enough and so I'm not making them do things like they've been painting in the garden and stuff today and like you were saying Sophie the whole world is in the same boat so it's yeah. not like it's just and my I, I think also like, sorry when, I said when they're in the classroom they don't have that um total one-to-one -one apart from obviously you know um additional needs and things like that so they're prob it's probably not as intense in the classroom as what we think it is you know what I mean so when you're on a one-to-one -one with your kids it's not like that a lot of the time for them so you know you'll tr you probably get a hell of a lot more done in those small hours and you would in the whole day of school if that makes yeah but some of the stuff like some of the stuff my eldest kids got she's asking me I don't even know it myself oh I know my sister had to google words she's like I don't know what this means like <laughs> it's like writing a that's like has to use, um, I don't know, like fronted adverbials and this, this and this. And I'm like, I can't help you because I have no idea. Has what to use what now? <laughs> Sorry. Before, before all this, before all this, I was the same. And I, I think I texted you, didn't I, Claire, one time and said, what the he hell is this something clause? And then you said, well, Amelia says it's this. <laughs> Amelia was texting the answer to me because I was like... Oh, no, I'm, they can't I, expect the parents to be that up to speak, can they? And I think, like you're saying, at the end of all of this, all the kids are going to be in the same boat. Some will have excelled more than others. Some might have fallen back slightly, but they're going to have to accommodate for that moving forward. So I think, like you said, Claire, that mental health is more important. Your kids and also your own safety. Yeah. Like, we're but, going through so much as well with this, like mentally and physically, and, and it, it, yeah. it's a brand new situation. The, yeah. And I feel like Stanley must read the days because we both having like good and bad days, and right. yeah. like we're kind of trying to take pressure off each other. If John sees that I'm having a bit of a, a rubbish day, then he'll step up and vice versa. But the kids must read that as well. They must be able to tell that something's not quite right, regardless. Like despite just not leaving the house, because for, for Stan and Willow, it's it's difficult to explain, isn't it? Because they're so young. Yeah, I mean, before this happened, Willow had. Um... It, I sort of, she wasn't in potty training at all. And she's just, she started potty training. My mum sort of, when I went down south, mum did it within a week. And then the first last week, 
like she's been so taken with it like no accidents and then the last week she was having accident after accident and I just said to Shane this is a sign that she's just a bit stressed yeah so it was literally just having to like because obviously we were getting stressed and we'd had the news on stuff like that and I was getting panicky about you know things about self-employment and stuff like that and then it was just like you know they do pick up on your your mood and stuff and it is it's just it's it's really hard to sort of explain the situation so we just don't have the tv on at all now yeah it's hard to know how much to explain yeah it's difficult to know how much you should tell them and how much you should keep back as well Well, that's what i mean you've got older children that is really hard yeah i've got older children and it's really hard because they sort of you know with willow really i think that and probably stanley they're just like quite quite happy that they've got both me and shane at home do you know what i mean or um so it's just yeah, the older ones, I, I, I really, I really do feel for her. My eldest, though, so she, she get, understands, she knows what's going on, and she knows there's lots of people dying and things. And, um, but she, she said, I think it was last week, she said, I know it's really bad, and lots of people are dying and losing their jobs and everything. She said, but I've absolutely loved just being the four of us spending time together, and oh. it just have a little family at home. She said, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> so, oh, and that's lovely. So yeah. you're, doing, you're doing a good job then. But if I see more of them are so busy, we like ships in the night, we're in, out, different, taking yeah. one of them up onto another. That actually, on reflection, we probably rarely spend time, the four of us, just us together. Because we, if we're usually we're doing something, other people will be with us, friends, family. And so it's been um, totally different, I suppose, just the four, the four of us day in, day out. Yeah. That's what's nice, that's, isn't it? Like life has, has stopped and, and slowed down and we've been forced into this in a way, but in a way it's amazing because it's time that I think, I think what we'll remember most from it is that family time, isn't it? And that quality time. And as much as it's a bit stressful and it, it, this pressure to do this and that, it's amazing that we're being given this time. And that's what I'm trying to take from it is this one, like quality time with Stanley that I think he'll remember maybe might be a little bit too young but I think this this year will just be that memory of precious moments and watching them grow up and when we do go back to the rat race and everything being fast and being like passing ships and I think we'll really appreciate this although it's stressful now I think we'll look back and it will be actually a really like special time that we spent with our children what do you think yeah yeah I think that's really oh go on no, it's, just, it's really quite, um, yeah, no, absolutely. I think the biggest thing is, is that I, I, what I've found um, is just that I think people are just need to be a bit kinder to each other in terms of the situation and stuff, because I think we always talk about mental health and, and talk about, um, you know, expressing yourself and how you feel. And then on the next breath, people are saying, oh, don't moan because you're at home. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, and actually I think that, I think everybody's just trying to figure it all out. And I just think that it, you should just be honest with yourself. I think sometimes if you just get it out, it just is out there then and you're, you feel a lot better for it. But it's just, it's, it's really hard to get that sort of balance of fe- fe- feeling so great if you're getting that quality time, but also having that ongoing struggle of thinking, oh my God, I really do wish I had a bit of time to myself as well. And you're just... We've got a few clients that have just had new babies. And yeah. so on that one hand, you've got the, oh, you're lucky, you've got a baby, you're at home, you can be with your baby. But still, they're allowed to feel almost robbed of the fact that the first few weeks of their new baby, they can't go and exactly. see them, they can't show the baby off, they can't go to the classes they thought they'd go to, they can't enjoy the maternity as we enjoy probably our maternity time off. Yeah out and about with freedom and so yeah it's grateful that they've got a baby and things but I think and they're they're struggling with that and uh, dichotomy of being grateful that they've got a baby and at home and healthy but also the struggle of they also want to feel a bit sad because it's not yeah, and I think that's it's people, not what they want yeah exactly people I just think people just need to be allowed to feel that way I just feel like you know what I feel a bit crap actually like um you, you know and I've got close family members that are you know nurses and doctors and also are in the army and stuff and working at supermarkets and I just you know that they're having to deal with this at day in day out and they've got no choice but to do this and I'm so grateful but they would even say to me like you know what Sophie at least we're getting to see people every day and having to interact and that's you know that's my you know my family members that are in the NHS and stuff they're saying that to me and I'm going I feel bad saying I feel 
who been at home all the time and they're like no I would be I would be and I think like what you're saying about just having a baby you know that especially your first time having when you you need those classes to meet those mums and you need you know family members not able to meet those you know when everyone used to everyone comes round and visits and brings gifts and not even oh not even having a baby shower you know mm. you don't get that time back and it is sad yeah. yeah, and I think every, and everybody's feelings are valid, aren't they? They're all relative to the yeah. situation. But and I said, I think was it? I was speaking to you last week, Claire and Sarah, and I was saying it's like everyone tends to say, "Oh, just be feel grateful, just be grateful," and then but you can't stop how you feel at the end of the day. And it's like, say, and I said, same to you. It's like if you've got if you're next to someone and you've just broken your leg. And then someone down the road is, is paralysed. Your leg's still going to hurt. You can't say, oh, at least I'm not paralysed. Your leg's still going to hurt. You still, and I think you've got to accept that some days are oh, you, you're going to feel grateful for the time that you're with your kids. And, that's, that, and you should do that. And that's good. And then other days you might feel like, oh, I just need some space on, uh, to myself. But you've got to know that it's like a roller coaster. And you can, yeah. every, every single feeling on that roller coaster is valid, isn't it? And you should just allow it to come and then, but it is a bit, it, I do find it hard, like you're saying when you, people are saying, oh, don't moan, you, why are you moaning? And it, yeah. then you feel bad for those feelings, which makes you feel worse. So. Well, that's what I mean. It's like, I always say to, to Shane, like I've always said, like, you know, when you want to get something out and you'll go, you know, I, went, I need you to just get it out. Because once it's out, <laughs> then, it's, then it's out there. And I've said, like, you know, how I feel and stuff. If, if you keep it in, it becomes a bigger thing. Yeah. Do you know what it's I mean? Up, doesn't it? If you don't, if you don't vocalise it, suddenly it builds yeah. up, and like you say, it becomes this massive thing. When actually it might have started as something really small. And I don't think we should feel like guilty for feeling a, a wanting to be a little bit selfish during this time. I think it's okay to go. Do you know what? I do need just twenty minutes to myself, or ten minutes, or whatever. Yeah. Like the, the, my saving grace has been going out for a walk with the dog, and I leave Stanley at home in the morning if I can, with John before he starts work and just have that like 20 minutes, 30 minutes yeah. to myself and actually really try to not feel guilty for that because it is, it, it, whatever helps you kind of stay sane during the time and clear-headed and whatever then makes you a better mum, I think, on the other side yeah, yeah, of that yeah. because then you can go back to your little ones and, and feel more centred and grounded and calm and whether that's exercise or getting out for a walk or meditating or all the things that we talked about last week. Um, but I don't think we should feel guilty for that either. I think we, you've got to be a little bit selfish, haven't you, in this? Yeah, I mean, I'm quite fortunate. My husband is a teacher and he's not been rotted into school yet. So we're both at home. Um, but even so, he can, I can be upstairs and he can be sat in the kitchen with the girls and they will come up to find me to ask me the question about the homework or they want a snack or they want a drink. And like, there's a man sat next to you <laughs> I'm like, and they cannot seem to get past the fact that we're both here and they can ask him to do stuff too and not just me I mean I feel really bad like shouting or losing my rag and I'm thinking but I am here and I can do it but it's not the but point it is hard it is hard like I mean I, I we I do a little workout in the morning and stuff and then then I feel guilty thinking oh god I'm outside I need to bring Willow outside she needs to be outside and then it's like bring her out, bring her out, and then I'm doing the workout with him, and then he's on my back, and then it is funny, because the other morning, like, Shane was in the toilet, and he's saying, <laughs> and she comes in, and she's like, so if I'm on the toilet, I was like, yeah, welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't remember last time I went to the toilet on my own, and he's like, I mean, and I was like, that. yeah, I'm, that's, that's, that's my life, do you know what I mean? Like, I can't remember it being without the door open. I, like, I actually, like, in, is it four weeks? I can't even keep yeah. track of it, it's about four weeks now. Um, and the second week in, and it, like I say, my eldest was quite difficult for the first two weeks because she doesn't like change and stuff. So she yeah. very needs lots of reassurance and constantly there. So she, in a way, it's almost like having a toddler still. So I actually cried on the toilet and said, I just need to be on the toilet. I just leave me alone for a minute. And I was crying and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm sat on the toilet crying, asking to let me finish the toilet. And, and she's like, she just looked at me. She went away and it worked, but then I felt really bad. I thought, oh, but then I suppose they're going to have to see us have these little bits of meltdowns and know that that's okay as long as we come back out of it after and say. But that, that is the thing, isn't it? And then they go to bed and you're sitting and go looking at them thinking, oh, God, I feel so guilty. And then they start moving. Don't wake up, don't wake up. Yeah. <laughs> back out the room. Little, little angels, aren't they? <laughs> and you're saying, 
oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Willow's up at five o'clock. She's oh up my goodness. And then you see all these people going, yeah, I'm mean, just taking this time to like you know learn a new craft and, and like sort out my house. I'm like, how? Yeah. How? I don't know. Like I don't know. I'm more nice than I have ever been. Yeah, I think it's amazing how fast the days go and like you yes. think for all this time and we actually have, but then they just fly by. You just end up. I feel like I'm cooking all the time as well. I don't know yeah. about yes. everything. It's, it's constantly, constantly like, all time, isn't it? It's breakfast yeah. or lunch. Or I'm, I'm suddenly I've only just cleaned experience. up breakfast and I'm making lunch. I'm like, how much do you eat? <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, but I can imagine with older children as well, like the snacking must be. My sister's the same, she's got two boys and she's just like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Like it's just so much. I mean I the dishwasher, I mean the dishwasher's never stopping, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, I saw someone do something good actually for kids, like older kids like ours, Claire, and they got the snacks out for the day in the morning. I just put them on like in a bowl and said, There's the snacks for the day. When they're gone, they're gone. So spread them out and I thought, well, that's quite a good idea. Like what I eat their snacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm like, sorry, the bowl's empty. Mummy's eating it all. Sorry. Yeah, that is a point. Well, I'm, so, I'm really oh. trying not to like eat any snacks. Like I'm really trying to be good because when you're at home all the time, it's just so easy to do that, isn't it? So I'm really trying my hardest. But... It's difficult though, isn't it? And I think you again, we've got to take a bit of pressure off ourselves with things like that because we're in such an unusual situation. But what kind of things have you been doing with the kids and keep them entertained? What ideas? Like, I like that snack bowl idea, actually. I think that's yeah. great. What other bits and pieces have you all been doing? So, uh, yesterday we did, um, we had, I had two massive boxes, like cardboard boxes. What I bought a mop and something else random from Amazon, and um, we made tellies out of them you know like little fake tellies and then oh, they did all like the drama and the stuff like that and oh, that was really nice because nice. my mum my mum went on a daily walk and she can walk past ours so she stops outside the window and they did a little show for her at the window oh, for the telly it was um but yeah stuff like that and just we've been on the, they go on the bikes for the daily exercise we go on the they go on the bikes and I walk with the dog um Mine have been baking, they're obsessed. Oh, yeah, yours are amazing with the food they made. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've, I've got stuff in the for them on that yours, but I literally give them free reign at the kitchen and the ingredients. I say, make what you want, put what you want in it and tell me how long to cook it for. And Mine honestly, blow the kitchen up. Amazing stuff. They make a mess, which I make them tidy up, but they're actually miles better and more sensible than I thought. They would be like Googling, like, Flapjack recipes, cakes, they've made fairy cakes, they've made sponge cake, they've made flapjacks, they've made sourdough bread. Oh my <laughs> god, you need to start yeah. a business. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, just, have you ever seen that? I'm a bit like with the baking though, like when Willow starts baking, I'm like, I'm give loving. it here, give it here, let me do it, let me do it. You yeah. know? <laughs> like, no, okay, just, just, touch, just, no, 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 look, just, you know, just let me do it, I'll do it, I'll finish it off. Because it's just like <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm not good at baking cakes. I buy them because I can't make them. And they're, they're really good. Like, they're oh, taking back to And um, yeah. they're cakes. I mean, God, with have them. I don't actually know what they put in them. <laughs> you know. You've not been ill, though, so it's been fine. <laughs> When we've done some baking, but I can't, I couldn't leave mine. That they'd literally blow the kitchen up, I think. But uh, we've done some baking together, but I have to, I have to have two of everything. So I have to double the recipe and I have to have two bowls, two spoons, because otherwise they just fight and flour out. Literally, they'd be having a food fight. They, 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 they argue that much over stuff like that. So yeah, I've had the bowls separately and just have them doing like we've made some cookies and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, I mean, his attention span doesn't. Um, sorry, so doesn't last that long. Like I'll start baking with him, or start doing something like that with him, and then he'll just go. I don't want to do this anymore, mommy. Leave me to it, and then just keep popping his head and going. Are they ready yet? Are they ready yet? I'm like, how have I ended up doing this? <laughs> and I well, have, you seen, have you seen this rainbow behind? Yeah. yeah. Right. So me and Willow started this, and it was going really, really well. And Did then you make that about <laughs> the green? I just finished it off myself. Brilliant. <laughs> Because she was like, really love it. All, these, all these Elsa stickers on. And I'm like, no, no, they don't, they don't belong on this. They don't belong on this. And there's me being like really OCD. And I was like, just keep it to the colours. Keep it to the colours. And Shane's like, so this is meant to be hers. I was like, no, it's not how it works. 
She wouldn't be allowed to do that. Like that. I used to be like that. I'd see something on Pinterest and be like, oh, I'm going to do that with them this when they were young. And then they'd want to, like you said, they'd want to like mix colours or just, and I'd be like, oh, it doesn't go. So now I've just decided when we do it, I make my own. So I have my own. Yeah, that's thing. what you're <laughs> yeah, like, totally, totally, we can do what we want. But it is hard, it is hard. I mean, we, especially like with the attention span thing with you, like, Willow's the same, like we do, we start doing something and then if it's not, I mean, they're so, so young that she's just a bit like, and then it's just off something else. It's like if I'm putting any sort of like teaching with shapes or anything in the morning, I've got about 10 minutes and then it's yeah. just like, I'm, I'm, no. And it's like going for these walks because obviously if we go for a walk, you have to go quite near our house and you there's only sort of two good walks really and honest to god the last time i went for a walk which was today she went oh not again <laughs> <laughs> because i think at that age unless it's animals or a park yeah they can only go only so many like nature walks i mean we're lucky that we've got a garden she loves the garden but literally we got them she was like not again <laughs> and i had to like get we i found these two fairies in her bag and i was like Shane, just plant them, plant them to go along. And literally, he was throwing them, and then she'd find it, and he had to put it in his pocket and then throw it again. And then he got to the end, and she went, Daddy, where's all the fairies? And he was like, And they've all flown away. <laughs> just improvisation. Great idea. It's, it's thinking on your feet, that. <laughs> I know. I need to go on. I'm really good at it. <laughs> literally, he was like that. Oh God, fairies around. We've, been, we've been doing things like this with my like, and friends who've got little kids and the girls have been going on and they've been doing um, little quizzes so they've written like five questions each and they're, like, they'll be stupid things like who's the man in Frozen like and stuff like that just dead easy questions or little pictures and they'll do a little quiz with the friends or my nieces and nephews um, and they get five five questions each have got like 20 questions and they'll do little quizzes and they do them like a couple of times a week so tomorrow they'll be doing a movie quiz and they're dressing up for it they're all out they're all wearing um, something fancy dress for the movie quiz oh that's, that's <laughs> give some really cute i'll give them like half an hour to or 45 minutes they do it on they do it on like a, like a thing like do it on house party yeah house party oh i need yeah. to get on that and that's so they'll be like five of them on house party and they'll ask the questions and do like the score things but tomorrow they're dressing up as like some someone out of a movie because they're doing a movie quiz <laughs> that's oh, really I cool that. I, I do that me and shane so you know the, <laughs> you know the, that you're saying like the quiz with and things like this on Saturday night, just gone, me and my friends, there's about six of us. And we're like my friends in school, so, but we never, we never, uh, we get together like, if, if once a month we're lucky because to get everyone together at the same time, a lot of us got kids now and it's just a struggle to get babysitters. So we can go for ages without seeing each other. So since we've been, we've been doing at least, we've probably done about three of these where we've done like little quizzes and different we were saying, what, we should just do this afterwards. We said we'll carry this on because yeah. if we'll get together, we can at least just come on to here and do like a little yeah. virtual party thing. Yeah, I think well, a lot of that will follow on after. Yeah, yeah I, do quite, I do that a lot quite, anyway, because I'm so far away from my family and a lot of my close friends. So we, can you hear them screaming? <laughs> <laughs> um, is she okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so we... We do that quite a bit. She's such a good child. She's so classy. Um, so we do it quite a lot. So it's not actually out of routine. So like my sister, they all, my sisters live literally in the same village as my mum and that. They're really struggling. They're like, I just really find it hard. And I'm like, this is my life. I see you over FaceTime all the time. Do you know what I mean? So I know that bit's yeah. like, it's more the interaction of seeing friends up here and stuff. And, but yeah, the, the, the things like the health part of yeah it's really, really good. it is yeah it's great that but i think i'm finding it's just getting out of the house just that just having a bit of time i know we can go for a walk but just going even just going to the supermarket and you know having that time and that's the, the thing that i miss the most but um claire and robin you've done the, the workout for the kids haven't you that was great and we've got yeah. the link up for that yeah so yeah, we did yeah. just have the kids uh workout oh, so each day it's, it's like for kids of any age really but we got our, our kids to do the exercises and there's, there's tons of little um like cardio drills strength drills and stuff 
and it's like a little superhero workout. It's only about six minutes. We do. we do a warm up and then about six minute workout and a cool down. And it's really nice. Mine have done it um, themselves each day. Have yours kept to it, Claire? I've been doing it, yeah. So that's quite nice. We've got quite a lot of people doing that. They're about halfway through now. So it's, it's that's nice. really good. I like that. I just like it. The kids like it because they're watching other kids as well. I think there's something yeah. about they love watching other kids. They like copying yeah. other children, don't they? Yeah. My two kids have stood at the window and they've made a sign. Where are you going to finish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mine are tied up downstairs. No. I don't know what's happening in your house. I'm literally screaming, mate. I don't know what's happening. Oh, well, we'll wrap it up anyway, girlies. Um, amazing. Thank you so much. Can you hear her banging? What's she doing? Is she banging on the door? No, it's because Shay's trying to get her in the bath and she's just like, no. <laughs> this is like just daily, isn't thing it? Is, I'm so, I'm like, I'm like the bad guy, do you know what I mean? So the fact that he's, I'm the one that takes her to bed, puts her in the So for Shane to do it, I think she's just like, no, daddy, you're the fun guy. Why are you making him do this? And I'm like, in bed now. You could just say it's just stay in the office when we get off this call and just be like, oh god, Shane, it went on. Oh, so he's gonna, he's gonna lick you like that. I've had that. It's been a nightmare. So it's been a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so thank you so much. Oh, it was lovely to meet you, girls. And I have. Yeah, you too. We did it, the the fitness thing for kids online. Yeah, we'll send. Um, I'll give. I'll get. Send the link to Sarah and get it. Post it and send we'll it to you. Here as well. Oh yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, oh lots of love, girls. Lots Thanks of love. so much. Oh, bye bye. Bye. bye.